go ahead and go to joinpd.com and we'll get signed into Pear Deck. You guys go ahead and join pd.com as well, please. All right, you should have a code momentarily. All right, there we go. Ooh, an easy one today. B-K-K-B-Y. All right, ooh, already got three, four students connected. This is like my daily little game show here. How many can we get connected? We're on six. Let's see if we can get to 10 cubic inch. Aiden, if you're having trouble, just exit out and come back. I can recognize that a solid figure which can be packed without gaps or overlaps using n cubic units, using n unit cubes has a volume of n cubic units. This is like a tongue twister for me today. So if I have Does anyone have any questions about our I can statements before we get started. All right. All right, let's take a look at our first question. How many one centimeter unit cubes are in the bottom layer of the rectangular prism at the right? This is on your pair deck, so go ahead and answer there. You should have a multiple choice option for this question. How many one centimeter unit cubes? We're going back to review um, what we started working on in the beginning of our study of volume. How many one centimeter unit cubes in the bottom layer? Answer that on your Pear Deck slide now, please. Did I forget to tell y'all the mirror's on? I think I did. All right, let's turn our mirrors on. All right, let's take a look. We have a few answers for choice A. We have a good many for choice B. And none for C and a good many for D. So let's take a look, see if we can justify our answers. Oops. All right, so the bottom layer or one layer, doesn't have to be the bottom, I guess, one layer of this rectangular prism. Can somebody please volunteer to justify their answer? Tell us what your answer was and then justify that answer. Let's see, I've got some hands. Go ahead, Jordan. Um, six, because um, there's two on the side and then there's three, so three times two. Okay, Jordan says her answer was six and she says, there are three in the first row, and she can see that there are two rows of three, so three times two is six. So Jordan said six. All right, Gracie, do you agree with that or disagree with that? I agree. You agree with that? Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and raise your hand or give me a thumbs up if you got a different answer that you would like to justify, or maybe you got a different answer and you need to revise your answer, but you don't mind sharing what your mistake was so that we can learn from it. Go ahead, Vaughn. I mean, I didn't get this answer, but um, I can tell why people used it. Okay, go ahead. So people, people said 24 because um, the volume is 24. I guess they got mixed up with that. Absolutely, Vaughn. And I'm so glad that you said that because many, many times, it's not that we don't know how to find the answer. It's that we don't read carefully or think about what we are being asked. Know that we can't go that front part. Yes, Jordan, go ahead. And I got three because they only got in the one on the side. Absolutely. Another misconception. Someone that chose three may have only looked at that front row. That is actually a problem that many of us have had over the last couple of weeks as we're working through this. Very good points. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to erase my layer here. Don't tell me the volume. Answer the question that's being asked. Okay. It's only six questions. You will do just fine. You're going to read carefully, take your time, think about what's being asked. So six questions on the lesson one quiz. Then of course you have your math exit ticket, which is just the 
one question. So we are going to do those right now while we are together to make sure those get completed. You're going to take your quiz. It's in Google Classroom. It says lesson one quiz, I believe, and then your math exit ticket. If you finish those and we're still waiting for others, go ahead and work on Prodigy, please. Any questions about what you're going to do right now? 